I'm Marion and I'm living with Alzheimer's. I'm Jeff, Jeff Wheeler, and um, I'm married to Marion. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2014. Marion's been on several clinical trials and they've all been, without exception, positive. People have been so kind, um, they've, they've gone out of their way to make us welcome, uh, to reassure us, and there's, there are so many benefits. All the uh, nurses were very good and uh, would say, oh, hello, Marion, roll up your sleeve, <laughs> all that sort of thing. And they were very kind and nice towards me, yes, always, yeah. We discussed with the family whether whether taking part in a trial was was a good idea, um, and they were universally um, in favour of it. They just said, "Yes, just go for it. You've got nothing to lose," and uh, they were very very positive. So I got in touch with the researchers and um, we went to London for some screening and eventually we were accepted on the, the trial. I say we because they accept me as a, as a study partner, so it's always we. The, the screening process was quite extensive before the trial started and we didn't know at that point whether she was going to be accepted. She had to um, fulfil certain criteria. And the screening involved um, MRI scans, blood tests, heart monitoring, questionnaires, cognitive tests, all sorts of things. Everything they could possibly test, they tested. And um, there was a, a period afterwards when we didn't know whether she was going to be accepted or not, but uh, hopefully she was. It was a visit to London each time. We liked quite like visiting London and all the sort of, uh, it's just a different area, different people and uh, and it was good, yes. The first trial she took part in for Aducanumab um, involved us going to London once a month for the infusion which took about an hour and that trial lasted 18 months and that was the the, the first part of it when we didn't know whether she was on a placebo or not and we didn't find out till some time afterwards that in fact she was on a placebo. After that we were offered the, the, the full dose of the drug and that was an, what they called an open label session, section and we knew that she was on the drug then that lasted another year and that involved being hooked up to a, a drip and the infusion lasting about an hour and she tells me it was very painless and uh, she was relaxing on a, on a, on a bed and uh, it, uh, it didn't seem to bother her one bit. Taking part in a trial is, is not something to be taken lightly. It's quite a big commitment. We, we made lots and lots of visits. Um, but we treated it as a day out. I think it's natural for anyone to be nervous when you're, you're starting something like a clinical trial. You don't know what to expect, you don't know the people, you haven't been to the institution. Um, but in our experience, it, it was totally positive. We were very well looked after, um, reassured all the way along. We were given plenty of chance to, to pull out if we wanted to or to ask questions. And there was a huge benefit of being monitored throughout, not just for problems <coughs> that might occur as part of the trial, but um, just general health checks throughout. I would say, well, it's very big because uh, it helps people, other people, not just ourselves, but other people as well, uh, who may have dementia or may have it in the future for them that uh, it's it's good to think about that and, and and go towards it if they if they have other people they know who maybe will get it as well. I 
totally recommend getting involved in, in research. Uh, it's just been a positive experience to us all the way along. We've been well looked after and there's a benefit of being regularly tested and monitored.